Hello and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a whole two weeks since I uploaded a video on YouTube and I felt like a bit of a break and breaks are important. Uh, my name is Declan and I mainly talk about the stock market. I talk about economics and I talk about business and right now I'm focusing on inflation in the eurozone in this particular video so i hope you find it interesting and uh, i'll just take you on to an article on cnbc so the article here i have on cnbc.com reads the headline is eurozone inflation fell to 4.3 percent in september lowest level since october 2021 which is is very good news so full credit to the author author jenny reed who wrote this article do check out cnbc.com. They're a very good website and there's a lot of very useful information, be it stock market, business, economics, etc. It's all there. So annual inflation in the Eurozone cooled to its lowest level since October 2021. I just dropped myself down a bit. <laughs> Falling to 4.3% in September, flash figures show on Friday. This was down from 5.3% annual reading in August, while month on Month on month, inflation dipped from 0.5 to 0.3. So core inflation, which is slightly different, this excludes energy, food, alcohol and tobacco and is closely watched by monetary policymakers, dropped to 4.5% year on year in September from 5.3 in August. The fresh print comes after the European Central Bank decided to hike interest rates to a record level in September, pegging its key rate at 4%. So the move was described as a dovish hike after the ECB also gave its strongest suggestion yet that its governing council feels rates may be significantly, maybe at sufficiently high levels to bring inflation to target in the medium term. So yeah, that would be good if they have decided that, that levels are high enough at the moment and things will stabilise. So that would help everybody and the cost of living crisis right across Europe, etc. So the bank's most recent economic projections for the euro area anticipate anticipate inflation will average 5.6% this year, falling to 3.2 in 2024 and 2.1 in 2025. Like they would be excellent figures if they could get it down to 3.2 and 2.1% in 2025 respectively. That would be very good for Ireland, Europe and Europe as a whole. So officials have tried to dampen expectations for rate cuts on the horizon with French, with French central bank governor telling CNBC this week that it would be premature to bet on when its first cut will come. Yeah, people are still cautious at the moment. That's all that means. So the picture remains complicated with the ECB forecasting tep at 0.7 economic growth for the block this year, followed by 1% and 1.5% over the next two years. So the recent surge in oil prices may also prove a, a risk to the bank's inflationary forecast. Yeah, everybody's watching the oil prices as well. So that that plays into the bigger picture. So the inflationary picture remains highly divergent between European nations. Annual prices right annual price rises in Germany, the biggest Eurozone company, or sorry, biggest Eurozone economy remained remain well above target at 4.3% as it also struggles with an economic contraction. So yeah, the picture is very different right across the board in Europe for different countries. So estimates from Eurostat, the EU's statistics agency, put headline inflation harmonized across Euro, across Eurozone nations at 5.6% in France and 3.2% in Spain for September as Slovakia and Slovenia suffer with inflation of 8.9 and 7.1. They're very high figures. And like, as, as I said, just and previously that things are very different right across the board. But but hopefully things will improve if the interest rates do stabilize and that will help the economies to stabilize as well. And hopefully help with the cost of living crisis that Ireland and Europe are facing at the moment. But as, as I said, like with Slovakia and Slovenia, things that the rates are high there at the moment. Some other countries have lower rates. So it remains to be seen the figures of in 2024, 2025 would be great to get down to about 2.1% uh, inflation rate. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it the like and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.